Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So today I wanted to come back and do a follow-up video about sexual compatibility and the questions that you should be asking your potential partner. So stay tuned. Okay fam, so what questions should you be asking your partner, your potential mate, as it pertains to sex? See, a lot of us get into these relationships and we're saddened or frustrated or even a bit angry at our partners for not being into the type of sex that we are into. So first of all, let me just say that the type of sex that I am referring to is with your husband. Now, I do know I am a realist and I know that a lot of us are having sex prior to marriage. I am a realist. However, the type of sex that I'm talking about is the sex that is undefiled when you are in the bedroom with your husband or with your wife. And undefiled basically means that anything goes when it's in your relationship, in your marriage. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so what types of questions should be should, should you be asking? So first of all, let me just back up and say that I did a video about let's talk about sex and I answered a gentleman's questions and I gave him some tips and as I was speaking about it, I wanted to come and do a follow-up video or a piggyback video, whatever you want to call it about the types of questions, sexual questions that you should be asking. I'm going to kind of go through the list a little bit fast. However, I will have all of the questions listed in the description box below. So do not worry if you are trying to write down everything. You can just click on the box and look at the questions. So first of all, you need to be asking your partner. Are you into trying new things sexually? Because some people just like vanilla sex, which is missionary. Some people just like that. That's what they do. So, are they into trying new things sexually is your first one. How often do you expect sex to happen? Like per week, per day, whatever. How often are you interested in wanting sex to make you feel good? What is your favorite position? Because this can be tricky. <laughs> your favorite position might be somewhere on Neverland to me. Yeah, Neverland. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I need to know what your favorite position is because I might not be willing to do that. Or she. You know, we ain't got to make it personal. <laughs> we ain't got to make it personal. She might not be willing to do it or even he. Some men are very conservative as well. All right? So how does sex make you feel? What does it make you feel when you are having sex, when you're actually in the act of having sex? What does it make you feel? How does it make you feel? Connected? Like what? Give him a chance to answer. Give, give uh, I'm saying him, but give your partner a chance to answer. All of these questions, not just that one, all of them. Ask him or her, have they had a sexual addiction before? That's a real disease out there. They've been diagnosing people with sexual addictions. You need to know. Because if I'm not willing to have sex with you at that moment, are you going to go and get it from somebody else? Because it's a need, it's a craving in your body, and you're not going to rest until you do it? These are questions that you need to know. Next question. Have you ever cheated because you wasn't getting sex at the house? Very important question. Because a lot... A lot of times, at least specifically for men. Now, this happens with women too, but mainly for men. A lot of times they cheat because you're not doing what they want you to do in the bedroom. So they're going to get somebody who is doing it. Might not have no feelings for say it, girl. All the feelings are with you. But what he wants to do and that release that he needs, he doing it with her. Because you're not willing to do it. So has he cheated because of that? Next question is, how has he actually walked away from a relationship because of sex or his sexual needs not being met? The next question, how important is sex to you? How important is sex to you? Because some, for some people, sex really is not important. Like they can go weeks or even months at a time without having sex. 
Some people need it multiple times a week. Some people need it multiple times a day. You need to know because that, that could be a deal breaker for you. So you got to know what you're getting into. A very important question that we really don't ask nowadays when we really should be asking. When was your STD? When was your last STD test? And I need to see it in black and white. Because we know people lie. We know that. I could believe you if I see it in black and white. Of what your results say. Versus it just coming out of your mouth. Because people do lie. It's the reality of it. The next list of questions I'm going to give you are questions that actually did not come from me. They were sent to me um, from somebody who gave me like an email of a lot of questions that you should ask before you get married. But I wanted to in include these because they specifically talk about sex. So the first question from this list is, what sexual activities do you enjoy the most? Some people need to play dress up. Some people like uh, S and M. You know that there. What? What? <laughs> what activities do you love the most? Do I have to always be in character for us to have a good time? Anywho, moving on. <laughs> uh, women. Well, actually, let's say men. Men, you really need to ask this question because I hear men complain about it. What is the question? Do you initiate sex? Men don't always want to initiate sex. They want to feel wanted just like we want to feel wanted and needed. Men, that's a question you really need to ask. Do you initiate sex? Women, it is not a problem to initiate sex. It's not. You shouldn't feel fearful for initiating sex. Anyway, moving on. What do you need in order to be in the mood for sex? What you need? Keep it real. What you need? Let's talk about this. Another question that people really need to know is, have you been sexually abused or assaulted? That's another question that a lot of people need to reveal. I need to know that about you. And you need to know that about your partners. We need to know. All right? Oh, this is actually a really good one. I don't think I remember reading this one before I saying it to you. But anyway, the question is, what was the attitude toward sex in your family? Like, was it talked about? And who taught you about sex? Because a lot of times that doesn't happen in our, in our families. Uh, a lot of parents shy away from having these conversations with their children, not knowing that it actually causes more damage than it is helping them. Because somebody's teaching your children about sex, if you're not. Somebody is. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Keep that in mind. If you're not talking to your kids about sex, somebody is. Okay, it's just a few more questions and we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. So the next one is, do you use sex to self-medicate? That's a really good question. Um, the next one is, do you think that sexual fidelity is ab absolutely necessary for a good marriage? Do you enjoy viewing pornography? Some people found, find this very repulsive if you have to watch pornography. So you need to know who you're dealing with. You need to know what are the things that they like and do not like. Uh, let's see, I'll give you two more. Oh, yes. <laughs> Have you ever had a sexual relationship with someone of the same sex? We know that that is running rampant right now. We need to know. You need to know who you're dealing with. Can't say that. I cannot stress that enough. The very last one is, have you ever felt forced to have sex to keep the peace? Or have you ever forced somebody? <laughs> Think about it. All right. Again, these questions are in the description box below. These questions can be very thought provoking, but they're also here to encourage and to welcome with open arms 
your partner so you know who you're dealing with. So you're not just going into these relationships. And again, this is to help decrease the divorce rate. So if you know be prior to you getting into a girlfriend-boyfriend relationship and that growing into something else, if you can't even handle what is going on with them as far as what they require from sex, then it's okay to move on. It's okay. But investing the time and energy only to walk down the aisle without without having these very um very important conversations prior to doing that you are setting yourself up to be a part of the statistic so definitely i would definitely ask definitely ask your partner absolutely um especially if you're still in the early stages but even if you're not again i'm always talking about bonding this could be a, another way for you guys to bond with each other. As always, I appreciate you guys listening to me. Take these questions in. Uh, definitely ask, which is the application part of it, because knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is better. Thank you guys for listening. And if you have not hit that red subscribe button, make sure you do so in order to keep up with my thought-provoking relationship content. I will see you guys in the next video. Two finger salute.